Last night, the Minneapolis City Council voted unanimously to approve $6.4 million for police officer recruitment. That money was already set aside for staffing. Police Chief Madera Arredondo asked the council to release it. The chief says the department has about 200 fewer officers now than it did two years ago. An unprecedented number of officers quit or took extended medical leave after the unrest following George Floyd's death. MPD hopes to add about three dozen more officers by the end of the year. But a grassroots push to replace the Minneapolis Police Department continues. Yes for Minneapolis is a black-led coalition of community organizations. And today they launched the Vote Yes for Minneapolis campaign. So they're collecting signatures at Moon Palace Books in support of replacing the city's police department. Organizers say their vision is a new Department of Public Safety that's centered around public health approaches to safety. They want the issue to be decided by voters. This is really important because this is an opportunity for Minneapolis residents to um, be able to say that they are truly interested in, in more options around policing and public safety. And for us to implement this new Department of Safety, um, we're signing this petition and having this people's petition so that voters will be able to have it on the ballot in November. The petition also calls on city officials to make long-term investments in the programs that organizers say keep residents safe.